So for this look, you will need a dome cap, a wig head, um, a glue gun. I got this glue gun from Walmart like five years ago. Any glue gun will work. These glue, um, you can use any kind of glue sticks, or you can buy the more expensive glue sticks um, that's made for fabric. But any kind will work. I only have a few glue sticks, but that's all I needed to complete the full wig. So for this hair, I used it for another U-part wig I sold, but I took it off and today I'm going to use it to glue it onto this wig. So let's get started. Um, since we are using glue, um, the dunk cap will become hard and it will not stretch as it usually would. So take some pins, some wig pins, you can get these anywhere at the beauty supply store and stretch your dome cap and pin it to the wig head. Since we are using hot glue, we are going to cut the wefts because the hot glue seals the weft and keeps it from shedding. So you're going to cut, measure each um, weft and then put the hot glue onto the weft and glue it to the dome cap. You want to work fast because hot glue dries fast. So if you can't glue fast enough, you can do it in sections, you're going to put the glue directly on the dome cap and take enough of the track to cover the glue and then you're just going to continue to do that glue and put the track on the glue. If the glue becomes messy and it gets all over your fingers, you can just let it dry and then simply just rub it off your fingers. It's the same way if it gets messy and gets on the hair, just let it dry and rub it off. Working with hot glue is really simple and a quick method to make a wig. Um, it's not messy at all for the simple fact that once hot glue dries, um, is pillable so anybody should be able to make a wig using this method and I know some may be concerned whether the wig is actually sturdy um, yes these tracks will stay on the dome cap and like I said if you want to go and spend money on more expensive glue sticks you can because they do make those glue sticks that are specific to different types of fabric so you can go into Michaels tell them what kind of fabric you're going to be using and they can show you which kind of glue uh, sticks you should buy Since we are making a U-part wig, you want to keep going until you get to the top and it's the shape of a U. When you get to the top, you want to start cutting tracks and laying them horizontal. So now that you're done with your U shape, it's time to cut that extra dome cap out. You can either sew in your wig clips or use the hot glue. I've seen some people use the hot glue, but I will be sewing mine in. 